let me start with a scale because okay. you're, you're looking at you're looking at the squire and davis map the mm -hmm. square you could fit the great pyramid of egypt comfortably inside that square the octagon by itself you could fit four roman Colosseums inside the octagon <laughs> the small yeah. circle at the bottom of the octagon you could fit stonehenge in that small circle so the scale is truly monumental and i guess i imagine that it would have been used i mean that the the experience of it would have been drawn out over maybe a couple of weeks so you've got people entering the octagon and doing ceremonies there entering the observatory circle doing ceremonies there maybe watching the moon rise there and then the, then feasting going on but it all does seem to be ultimately focused on the cherry valley ellipse where people were being buried in these 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 sacred places and I used to think that, yeah, the site's, you know, it's part shopping mall and part this and part that. But I really think we, what we've lost is because the, the burial mounds were so destroyed early on. I really think we, we sort of have forgotten that that was probably the focal point of all the ceremonies there. And the people were being buried there as an honor to them. But also with all that regalia in there, it almost turns these, these mounds into spiritual batteries because they're filled with all this, the remains of ceremonies and the ceremonial regalia and the honored ancestors. So th these, I think, become sacred places that pilgrims come back and worship at and, and sort of provide maybe offerings some kind of, in some sort of way, long after sort of the burials have, have stopped because the mounds themselves are potent ceremonial sources of, of power. Hmm. Spiritual batteries, I like that. And as, as the more you add, the more you experience profound things at that site, the more sacred it becomes and builds up and the legacy continues with younger generations. Yeah, so, and, and many archaeologists seem to think that building the mound is like when the ceremonies are over. It's like the mounds have become commemorative. And, and I, I disagree. I, to some extent, they're commemorative, but they're still sources of power and a focus of worship, even if they're not actively adding burials to them.